As Wooden enters the playing floor, he receives a standing ovation from an overflow crowd. And true to the Wooden tradition, on the outside, everything appears calm. The pressure of this game shows early. Both teams miss good opportunities. Play is extremely aggressive and often ragged. After two minutes, the players begin to find the range. Pete Trigovich hits for UCLA. Kentucky comes right back as Bob Guyette scores a layup on a Jimmy Dan Connor feed. Kentucky's big and rugged front line could determine the game. And in the early going, it dominates as the Wildcats produce a six-point lead. Kevin Grevy, number 35, Kentucky's high-scoring forward, is playing his last game, and he is determined to make it memorable at both ends of the court. Jack Gibbons, the Wildcats' classy freshman, replaces Guyette and immediately lifts the offense with his shooting. UCLA shows signs of coming to life on this fast break triggered by McCarter and Washington. Wooden then makes a key move. He sends in seven foot one inch Ralph Drollinger and moves Washington to forward. Drollinger is wiry, but a physical player who matches up well against Kentucky's two big centers. In the following minutes, Drollinger is a demon on defense, drawing fouls, intimidating shooters, and sweeping the boards. When Dave Myers scores on this layup, he evens the score at 27 all. On the sideline, Wooden shouts instructions to his players. Gibbons lost his eye after his first basket, but finally scores again. His efforts are neutralized by Pete Trigovich, who is successfully filling the hoop. The continued defensive brilliance of Ralph Drollinger is forcing the Wildcats' big men into costly mistakes. All of this has Joe Hall concerned. Here, Drollinger teams up with McCarter to double-team the ball. The result, a steal and an easy basket for Trigovich. Kentucky keeps close on the sparkle of Gibbons and Jimmy Dan Connor. But the half ends with Kentucky behind 43-40. second half begins with Greedy and a spectacular save of the tip-off. A basket by Jimmy Dan Connor follows, cutting UCLA's lead to one mere point. But that's as close as the Wildcats ever get.
The Bruins, led by Richard Washington, slowly extend the lead, even though Bob Guyette goes on an eight-point tear. The Bruins play this game with only six players, but they're putting on a remarkable show against a deep, deep Kentucky. Ralph Drollinger, whose defense proved the difference in the first half, shows the same aggressive play on the offensive board. Andre McCarter's quickness is no match for the Kentucky big men. The Wildcats are battling temperature too. This is an inopportune time to go cold, but they do. On this play, they miss three opportunities. don't say no. They take advantage and with this Dave Meyer jumper move to an eight point lead. Wooden who has been making all the right moves does it again. Now he replaces Drollinger with Marcus Johnson. The six foot six inch sophomore responds with two quick baskets. This is no runaway though. Kentucky has at last regained the scoring touch. And in an assault led by Kevin Greedy, number 35, and Bob Guyette, they reduce the margin to three. 5.24 remaining. Guyette is playing a brilliant last game. He's all over the court. This deal results in a basket. And Kentucky trails by only one. UCLA hangs in on great play from its two sophomore stars, Washington and Johnson. But Greedy's hot shooting builds the pressure. On this basket, he raises his point total to 30. And with 2.28 remaining, UCLA calls a timeout, leading by just three. They come out in a spread offense, and Myers scores quickly on a driving layup. Greedy converts two foul shots, and then on this crucial play, Washington recovers a near steal and makes good. The lead is five points. Greedy scores one last time to raise his game total to 34. A brilliant farewell performance. This is to be UCLA's day, and John Wooden will close one of collegiate sports' most outstanding careers with his 10th championship in 12 years. For Joe Hall, there are surely other opportunities ahead. For John Wooden, there is joy. For the public, there is belief that a wizard truly reigned in Westwood. John Wooden left the game on top. 1975's team may not have been his quickest, tallest, or deepest, but it had heart. As the song said, miles and miles of it. And the Bruins sent their coach out the way we all remember him, as a champion. What a look back at 75. I'm Bob Lee.